Next one is really good. It's about the emotions of uh, anger, fear, guilt, and shame. And anger, fear, guilt, and shame are such a motivating factor because we have the feeling of anger, fear, guilt, and shame. We don't want that feeling, so we do everything to get away from that feeling. Um, and if you try to look through your day that you had today and see how many parts of your life during today, your thoughts during today was about one of these or all of them. I mean, <laughs> why limit yourself? You can have all of it um, of the anger, fear, guilt and shame. Um, then also see that you never, ever come out on top. No matter what you do, there's always a plus one. You can always do it better. There's always the striving, the fighting, the, the, the focus on... Yeah, getting out of that feeling where when you are in the observing part, you have um, a space of loving kindness to when you feel guilt, like the one that asked me the original question, feel so guilty about me not getting it. I know none of this is real and I, if I'm creating all this, you know, I feel so guilty for doing that. Why do I do that? Meet yourself with loving kindness. Meet yourself. This is an illusion. You have a lack of a hormone that creates that repetitive feeling. And as long as that lack of hormone is, your perception will be shaped by that. Put yourself up in the observing role. Have compassion and loving kindness towards you having that perception. And then just be with it. It's a lack of a specific hormone. You can't change it. You haven't got the knowledge how to change it. You don't know how to do it right now. And it's not really relevant right now. Right now you're sitting with an emotion. You have a feeling of guilt. Then just create space for that. Uh, be with you with that guilt. Meet yourself with loving kindness. And that's the same with the next one. With defensive versus being peaceful. It's the battling. The same one. Next one again with the fighting, striving focus on what I can do and say. If you meet yourself with loving kindness, if you just are and you're observing and you're creating a space for yourself where you have um, unconditional acceptance to what is, then all of it ends. The I am not or should be striving to get out of it and to be something else. It's an illusion. Everything is an illusion. You're trying to meditate yourself out of it or uh, cold bath yourself out of it or uh, green smoothie yourself out of it. You can't do yourself out of it because it's just an illusion. The, the chemical release you have when you fight and strive is going to create even more battle in you. It's specific hormones that gives the, you the perception of danger. And you release more hormones when you try to strive and battle and get yourself out of it. Where if you put yourself in the observer role, you actually relax the endocrine system that is creating that feeling of fighting. And, um, and that gives you the calm and gives you the surplus to for that uh, too much hormones that you have is going to be less and by that you're also perceiving less fighting and less striving. Um, 